here at La Bota Ranch, above the Rio Grande southern sector, encountered this very large uh, sandstone boulder. Shows evidence of uh, prehistoric use. Has uh, numerous parallel abrading marks on one face of the boulder. Kind of a coarse, uh, coarse sandstone. And on the uh, right hand side, uh, it's guarded by this uh, vicious catclaw acacia plant, so it's tearing me up. But uh, here are several of the parallel grooves right here. Using a Sharpie marker as a scale, didn't have a proper scale in my backpack. But this uh, whole section from about here to about over here has evidence of uh, prehistoric use. Needs to be better documented. Maybe I can come back better prepared. Uh, oddly enough, this, this boulder has probably shifted over time because the uh, top flat surface of the boulder doesn't have any markings on it. I would expect maybe mortars or some other abrading marks. So either they use this sloping face here, the Indians use the sloping face as their uh, workstation, or this boulder's moved over time. And it's certainly possible because we're down in the Vega area of the river. And this area has been flooded and you know, many times over the years. But uh, these are pretty fascinating, and I'll have to do some better work at a later date. Right now, just dripping in sweat. It's so humid here. But uh, you can see numerous parallel marks here. And there's other marks as well, including a little higher up. You see parallel marks right there. So we're just above the river here. You can hear it gurgling down below me. It's kind of low right now. This is a very large boulder, obviously weighs uh, many tons. But this is the first such uh, marks that I've ever found in La Bota Ranch. I uh, wouldn't necessarily call it uh, petroglyphs, but it looks more utilitarian to me. Could be wrong. Have to require a little bit further uh, examination. But it's a first for La Bota Ranch and uh, glad I found it following an illegal uh, alien trail right here next to the river.